Teachers all around the nation are changing the way they teach to meet the needs of today's digital learners. Toma Area School District has been laying the foundation to step into the world of flipped or blended instruction for quite some time. This video highlights one teacher's efforts to leverage technology to enhance the learning of his students. So today what they're doing is they're finishing up their lab. Um, the agenda is on the board saying, you know, we need to accomplish these tasks to stay on pace with our class. So they're getting uh, some individual responsibility for their own learning in the first day. And then the second day it's kind of a shared responsibility between the teacher and the student. Um, it's a nice blend and mix of student responsibility and then them being responsible for their own learning and taking the initiative. Uh -huh. Three minutes to finish up the lab. You don't get done. That's okay. Um, they're crystals. They're crystals. Good. This is small. Yeah. I bet you can see right there. Where are the three types of rocks? Which one? This one? This is only Just look at it. Look at it. It's all white. Oh, never said that. Oh, wait. One of them. Let's take a look at this station right here. It's similar to four. Four other stations. So try to get yourself in a position so that you can see. So we have a tray of about eight or nine rocks, and the goal here was to sort them based on their their physical features. These are minerals. What are common amongst all minerals? They are uh, dust. They're inorganic and are pure and made of the same stuff. Well, what about metamorphic rocks? How do we know if it's a metamorphic rock? Well, they have stripes from pressure. Being pressure. Yeah. Are there any questions on? Minerals, metamorphic rocks, sedimentary rocks, or igneous rocks. At this point, if you feel ready to take the quiz, you're welcome to do so. And if that is you, go ahead and have a seat at your desk, at your table. If you don't feel ready yet, I want you to bring your textbook back here. I want you to set up at one of these stations with multiple rocks made available to you. I'll come back and help you. I get more time to uh, like study because we have a longer period of time for people to take the test when they're ready. And I have more time to work on labs and stuff like that. I would say more because like obviously like we get to work at our own pace and then if we need help with something instead of like taking the test and not being ready we can ask him something and then he'll answer it and then we'll be more ready and we'll get a better grade. You know what's done? Okay, so let's get into the sedimentary and the instrumental, right? Yeah. So let's get into the section that has some examples of sedimentary and instrumental. It's been more to get it done than what it was before. Yeah, they've been better <laughs> than what they were before. Probably the whole It's more as a class, and sometimes if you're done, you have more to catch up on because you're kind of teaching yourself sometimes. Um, well, you like get more help on stuff and you get to work at your own pace, so it's what you need. You know what I mean? Like, my grades have like improved on stuff because I am working so I understand it better. So I finished my test, so where should I put it? So you're not sure what to do next. Where would we go, or what would we look at to find out? what we're supposed to do as we finish different things that we're supposed to do. Well, either look at the board over there for the Friday. Yep. Or the more detailed one up there. So you probably ever really need to ask me what to do next? No. What do you need to do? Um, figure it out. Yeah, we can figure it out. Alright, let's do that. <laughs> Um, that you can work at your own pace. Okay. Um, well, one thing is that, um, that we, you know, don't get to have, like, fun class time. Most of you are an awesome teacher and we like his humor and stuff. Mm -hmm. And having fun conversations about, like, off-topic things. And when you have 120 kids, I've always found it really, really tough to differentiate instruction. I've never met with kids as frequently as I have now, and um, I'm able to do things in terms of communicating with kids as far as their grades, um, where they're at in their learning that I've never been able to do before. And I feel like I am less stressed as I do it. You know, in a population of 120 kids, you're going to have a certain percentage that are going to struggle with doing homework. I had one student um, in my third quarter who literally did not turn it one homework assignment. I probably had uh, six summative assessments, quizzes or tests, and 10, 12 formative assessments. Not one formative assessment was turned in. And of course he didn't pass. 
Um, he's on after school win every day. He's in lunch mandatory lunch win every day. He's just never going to do homework. In the first unit I flipped, um, we had six formative assessments and I think three summative assessments. Every single thing was turned in.